Hey guys, HMD just released its first Nokia branded smartphone, the Nokia 6. But will it be enough to redeem the brand? Let's find out. Nokia has always been known for its rock solid hardware, but what brought the company to its knees was its dated software and atrocious app support. After failed attempts with Mego and Windows Phone, Nokia is finally going the Android route and the phone will come equipped with Android's latest build, Nougat. And this should open up a whole new market for them. In terms of hardware, it'll come equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 processor and 4GB of RAM. It will have 64 gigs of onboard storage which can be expanded with the micro SD card. And have 16 megapixel rear camera and an 8 megapixel front camera with f2.0 aperture lenses all around. The speakers will be equipped with Dolby Atmos and dual amplifiers will deliver louder audio with unmatched clarity. But personally, what I'm most excited for is the whopping 3000 mAh battery. The capacity alone isn't impressive considering it's in a fabric form factor, but add a power sipping 430 processor and 5.5 inch 1080p display and what you have is the makings of a really long lasting phone. HMD Global itself doubts that the device can last a maximum of 32 days on standby, 18 hours on 3G talk time and 22 hours of continuous playback. But how far these claims pan out is yet to be seen. Design-wise, like the Lumia line, the Nokia 6 will have a unibody shell, but this time made of anodized aluminium. And the screen will have a slight curve and 2.5D glass. The display can reach 450 nits of brightness, almost the same level as the new MacBook Pro, and has a polarizer layer, which according to HMD Global, will enable excellent sunlight readability. The phone is 7.85 mm thick and has a fingerprint sensor and costs about 250 US dollars. However, it is a China-only exclusive design and the justification HMD Global gives for this is that they want to focus on emerging markets that have huge growth potentials. Would you get one if it was released worldwide and do you think it's a good start for the company to regain its dominance? Let me know down in the comments. For more content like this, please subscribe. Until next time, this is Dissolve, signing off.